to archive everything from the 60s all the way to 1998. Yes, so I've seen Dick dancing, Glenn Gui dancing, and, uh, and everybody. Haiyan dancing too. Haiyan! The OG! <laughs> Tell me about your time in MDC. I was in MDC in 1998 until year 2000. My main job would be number one to archive uh, all the shows, to di digitalize everything mm -hmm. from the 60s all the way to present time. And then secondly, obviously, would be creating music videos as well as uh, recording of all the road shows uh, when they perform in different army camps. Before that, I was in Tomasi Poly. Oh, Tomasi Yeah, so I specialised in visual communication. That was when NBC wanted to change to introduce multimedia actually into the show. You were in the pioneer batch basically for show yeah. production. So, archival. You had to archive everything from the 60s all the way to 1998. Yes, so I've seen Dick dancing, Glenn Gui dancing. Yeah, I'm just very thankful that I was given the opportunity because uh, it's true the experience because you see the show every day. Mm -hmm. And then you see how they do choreography and, and how they plot the show together. So for a filmmaker, mm, it sharpens my skill. And I realised it after I finished my time with MDC, my film started to go towards the musical it, turn, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and this is where I guess it... Because every day you are in the, uh, in the environment, you see, you learn and then you evolve mm -hmm. even in your storytelling. How would you say that MDC influenced the kind of stories you wanted to tell? So back then, my storytelling has always been about voiceover, mm -hmm. uh, be beautiful sy synergy mm -hmm. of, uh, between people, just very simple human stories. Mm -hmm. But I think <clears throat> after coming to MDC and being exposed to how they choreograph things, yeah. then I realised a lot of things or a lot of emotions, even stories, can be told in different ways, in movements, mm -hmm. in, in, in choreography. And um, that, that opens up a lot of uh, opportunity for me. And like what I said just now, like uh, every day you're seeing how they create the shows and, and somehow in your mind, after that, it's sort of ingrained in you that, hey, I can try to fuse all these things together. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very grateful to the, the artists in MDC. Back, back then when I needed to create films and and to, to even choreograph certain things, they came in to help. They mm. even helped me sew a costume. My mm. first costume for, for a, a, a film uh, is called Sons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we needed some costume and they, they just helped us out there. When I'm in MBC, I felt that there was a sense of uh, belonging. Yeah. Because everybody is creative. Like. Yes, yes. I think one of the very important milestones for me mm -hmm. was uh, MDC 25th anniversary. Uh -huh. That was something that I was involved in. Uh -huh. It was in Victoria Theatre. Uh -huh. And that was the first time they were using uh, multimedia projection mm -hmm. and, and that experience was, was really wonderful. Can I ask, what are you working on currently? Uh, currently, I'm working on the uh, NDP. I'm the uh, creative director for the 2023 NDP. That's right. And it's something that we are all very excited about um, with a very supportive creative team that's coming in to, 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 to create a vision to tell the stories that Singaporeans would like to see. It's really full circle. Lah. You've yes. joined serving the country uh, like artistically and now you are serving the country on the biggest stage in the world. Congratulations, Royston. Thank you.